Hello and welcome to Ether Explorers from Streets of Light in Bridlington. Once again I'm in a different part of the town. Can you guess where I might be today? All will be revealed right at the end. But before we get into today's story, I've got a few thank yous to say for the different people that have been involved in putting this together and supplying the material. Those brilliant stories that we hear and we see, the pictures of Playmobil, big thanks to Julia Quinn for putting those together and Belle, who's done the narration for that as well. Um, the wonderful magic tricks we're very grateful to Dynamic Dan for. Uh, I've really enjoyed those and I'm hoping that he might come and do some holiday clubs for us in Bridlington and I'm sure you'd enjoy that as well. And a big thanks as well to um, Simon Bray, who's written the Children of Light song, that I hope you've been joining in at the end, and Dave Godfrey, who does the actions for those songs too. Now let's move into today's story. You might remember yesterday was where we heard about Peter denying that he knew Jesus. Well, Jesus has been arrested and is now on trial. And that's our story for today. Jesus was taken to the Roman governor Pilate. Although the soldiers mocked Jesus and put a crown made of thorns on his head, Pilate could see that Jesus was innocent. Pilate offered to free Jesus as part of the Passover festival, but the crowd said they wanted Barabbas, a well-known criminal, freed instead. Pilate knew what was happening was wrong, so he washed his hands as a symbol that he did not want to be part of this decision. The crowd shouted for Jesus to be crucified, and he was led away by the soldiers. Hello, it's Dynamic Dan here, and today I'm thinking all about the part of the Easter story where Jesus is put on trial. His crime, saying he was the King and the Messiah. His punishment, being put to death. It hardly seems fair, does it? And of course, there are lots of things in life that we think are unfair or unjust. I'm sure you've all heard the phrase, that's not fair. You've probably said it to your mum or dad at some point too. Well, I thought we'd play a quick game now, a game with an egg. And this is the kind of game you might see at a carnival or a fun fair. Or should that be unfair? Let's find out. Step right up. As it's nearly Easter, I have this exciting game for you with an egg and two cute little chicks. This one is called Bertie and he's very big on social media. He's got a big following on Twitter. Tweet, tweet. Sorry, that joke was cheap. Oh, cheap, cheap. This chick is called Pierre. He's a French chick, or should that be a chic? And as Bertie would say, we only use one egg as an earth is an earth. That's a French joke. Now the aim of the game is to keep your eye on the egg. I will cover these three egg cups with the lids and mix them around. Do you think you can see where the egg ends up? Well, let's find out. In fact, why don't you come in for a closer look? Hey diddle diddle, the egg starts in the middle, but watch what happens when we cover the cups. Round and round the three cups go, where the egg stops, nobody knows. But do you know? Well, let's find out as we mix up the cups. Extremely fast, but where do you think the egg is now? Is it in the middle, on this side, or on this side? Where do you think? I think you're saying in the middle. Let's have a look. No, sorry, that's a chick. So maybe over here, let's see. No, that's a chick too, which means that the egg is over here. Hmm, it's a tricky game, I'll admit. Tell you what, I'll make it slightly easier. I think we'll take one of the egg cups away and just do it with two. On go the lids, and it's time to mix them up. Round and round the egg cups go. Where the egg stops, nobody knows. <laughs> Okay, hmm. you, you may have thought you saw something there, but, but don't worry, that's fine. We'll carry on. Uh, where do you think the egg is now? This one? This one? Mm, I think you're saying this one, aren't you? Y what, this one? Okay, I'll, I'll show you this one. Uh, no, that's a chick. So the egg must be under this one. Y hmm. y you might think that I'm not playing fair. 
Tell you what, we'll just try with one then. On goes the lid. We'll just use this one here. Are you ready? We'll mix them up, even though there's only one. Round and round the egg cup goes. Where the egg stops, nobody knows. Where do you think the egg is? Surely you'll get it right this time. What's that? This one in the middle. Well, let's see. Is the egg here? Yeah. No, this is Pierre's twin brother. Hmm, it's a mystery. Well, the egg actually is down here. I'll show you. It's inside this bag. Do you want to see? Here's the egg back where it started in the bag. And that is well worth a big round of applause. Yeah. Uh oh. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, do you want to see? I'll show you what's happened. Look. Oh, that's not fair. Oh. Well, to begin with, that might have seemed like a fair game, but actually, it really wasn't. Whichever cup you chose as a magician, I could simply change it. Hardly fair at all. And we were just playing for fun. Now imagine if you had to pay money to play, and there was a great big prize to win that you had absolutely no chance of winning. How would you feel? Angry? Upset? Well, there are lots of things in life that don't seem fair that can make us feel that way. Maybe we get sick and we can't go to a friend's birthday party. Or maybe we're stuck at home in lockdown and we can't see our friends at all. They don't seem fair, but they're things that we can't change. But what if we see someone who's being bullied? Or we see someone cheating on a test? In those situations, we have a choice to make. Do we ignore them or do we stand up, speak out and say something? When we see something that's unfair, we all have the power to change it. And we can start by telling a grown-up who we know and trust. Christians believe that God is always good and always fair, and that he has the power to change unfair situations. And when we see something that isn't right, if we speak up against it, then we're helping to change it too. And that's no yoke. <laughs> well, today's big question is this. What is the most unfair or unjust thing that's happening in the world at the moment? I'll leave you to think about it. I've been Dynamic Dan. Thanks for watching. Stay awesome and bye for now. Thank you, Dynamic Dan, for bringing that story to us. And I wonder what your answer was to the question, what is the most unjust thing that's happening in the world at the moment? I also wonder if you guessed where I am today. Well, if I pan my camera around, you can see the dog things behind me. And if I just move around, you can also see a big wheel. And I'm on the promenade here in Bridlington, and I'm by the fun fair. And the reason I'm here today is because our story has been all about a court case, and courts are there to make sure that people have a fair trial. That's a really bad joke, isn't it? I'm sure Dynamic Dan would appreciate it and probably would deliver it much better than I did. But we're here to think about things that are unjust and unfair in our world. If we think about Jesus' trial, we know that he wasn't guilty, yet he was put on trial and it was unfair the way that he was treated. And in our world today, there's so many things that are unfair that are going on that we might want to pray to God for. And that's what we're going to do as we finish our session today. So let's pray together. God of the impossible, we pray for justice, peace and reconciliation. And when the challenges seem too many, remind us of your resurrection power and the miracles of your love that happen whenever injustice is dismantled and is rebuilt with peace. Help us to hope that the impossible can happen and live as it might do so today. Amen. Thank you very much for joining us for this, our fifth session of Easter Explorers, right from the fair. And I'm hoping that this fair will be open again very soon so we can all enjoy these rides and have lots and lots of fun. Hopefully it's not going to be too long until that can happen. Have a great day. Enjoy our Children of Light song now. Bye for now.
Children of light, we're gonna shine out burn. 